What is going on guys, Static Leo here, back with another video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new, that way you don't miss any of my videos. Right now we're going to be heading to Ace's Performance to get an exhaust on my white single cap. I'm going to try to put an exhaust on it because I don't know if it's going to be able to go up their lift since it's really low. But we're going to go see what's up. For those of you that don't know, it's been having open headers for like a year. And open headers aren't good for a truck, the engine loses back pressure. So I need to take care of that. The only reason it has open headers is because the exhaust it used to have, uh, used to have a carbon. The truck is so low that a hole got put through it, so I just took it off. I haven't been to an exhaust shop since then. All right, guys, so really quick before we take off, uh, there's something about this truck that has been bothering me a lot ever since I changed the interior. That's that the lighter wasn't hooked up. That's because I didn't hook it up. So for those of you wondering like how to make your lighters work whenever you install a center console. So normally on these trucks, the lighters are up here, right? So what I did is I took off the harness from the old lighters and the harness is gonna plug into here. So that plugs into there. And then you're just gonna take your, you're gonna take your new lighter and plug it in right here. And you should have power again, so let's test it out. Got my charger right here. You you guys know that you always gotta have a charger in your car and this is this has been bothering me because I can't charge my phone in this truck. And there you go. Got power. Let's plug the batteries in. And there you go. This one back on. Also, a lot of you guys have been asking me what I got this interior from. The interior is from a Denali. We got the center console, the bezel, uh, door panels with the chrome handles. But I am gonna be changing the dash to the Escalade one because I like like I like the squared handle more, and also the bezel is more squared. So I'm gonna be changing that, and then the center console is the same. I just gotta change these two pieces. I already found those online for a really good price and really good condition. So all I gotta do is change these two. The rest of the center console is the same. I already do have the Escalade cluster with white LEDs, but that gauge is acting up right now. I don't know why. All I'm missing is the Escalade dash and the bezel. And then I'm gonna be wrapping everything in leather. I don't know if I wanna go with maroon leather or vanilla, but I still gotta decide. You guys let me know in the comment section what would look better. Let's head on over to Aces. Let's see if they can get that exhaust installed. Alright guys, so we just pulled up to Aces. He said that we're gonna try to put it on the lift. I do have to wait like about an hour because they're finishing up some cars they're doing right now. So right now we left Aces because they couldn't get the truck on the lift and I don't blame them, the truck is really low. Right now I'm gonna link up with my boy Aussie. We're gonna go to the other Aces, the one in Southeast. And he told me that they can get it done there. All right guys, so I just got done talking to them inside. It looks like they are gonna be able to do it. So that's good. They're gonna be pulling it up right now in a bit. It's gonna be pretty interesting to see how they're gonna put it up on the lift. Alright guys, this is going to be interesting.
Yeah. All right, I guess that wasn't that bad. Not too bad. Nah, not that bad. <laughs> it's all tore up, huh? Yeah, what happened? Well, when I lowered it, I had a carving all the way back, and then I put a hole through it, so I just took everything. Oh, so this must have put it right there then. Yeah. And then this one's just open. Because you have the sensors, and add it to this side, and cut it three sides. So we're gonna cut it right up here because it's reduced, so we're gonna keep it all three inches then. Okay. So we're gonna cut it up here so that we can run it all three. Alright. This truck needs paint ASAP. It's all messed up. We'll be scraping everywhere. Anyways guys, I'm gonna be going with a carbon exhaust because that's what I used to have and I already know how it sounds. I know it sounds good with the headers and stuff. So I'm gonna just keep that. I don't want it to be too loud. I don't want it to be like ridiculous loud. I just want something normal, like a little bit of sound. So I'm gonna be going with that. And it wasn't really that hard to get it on the lift. Just pulled up. That's my gold right there. What's up, cut? What's up? What you doing? Chilling. All right, guys. So I already got some progress on the exhaust. They already installed the white pipe. Very bad. Hosted by me, Jake Frank. It's back with season five, and you're not gonna want to miss new episodes. Can't wait to hear it. Doesn't sound good. guys she's finally ready let's hear it we got the tip right here good hell yeah that sounds sick
<laughs> Low problems, shaking my head. Look at the little chip. <laughs> Alright guys, so I did get the exhaust installed already. I'm pretty happy with how it sounds. I like where I placed the tip at. It looks pretty cool right there. Now we're gonna go eat with my boy Ozzy and then I'm gonna head home and give you guys some better clips at home. Now we're gonna get some Chick fil A. Real quick. Alright, guys, so I can't turn right now. Gotta be real careful not to hit the wheels. Pretty tight. That's what she said. <laughs> ah. Slow ass truck. <laughs> ah! Chick-fil-A sponsors, please. Hell yeah, I always be at Chick-fil-A. You know Alright guys, we got our food. Right now we're going to Aussie shop to eat. <laughs> Alright guys, so we just got done eating. We're hanging out right here for a little bit. Watching How do you say it wait Ozzy? Hosey. Hosey? I've been yeah. saying Ozzy the whole day. Watching Hosey? Yeah, Hosey. That's Hows. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people don't know why I got that nickname, but they gave it to me when I was in high school. Because of the hoser work. <laughs> But yeah, we're checking out his work. He's doing some subs right here.
be a chalam for today. I'm gonna grab it like right here with the other hand. Like how I am? Yeah, acá abajo lo vas a escuchar para arriba. Like that? Yeah. Venga, don't blow my fingers. Here we go. All right, guys, so I did just make it back home. Really happy once again with the exhaust. It sounds real good. You can barely see the tip. But I did it that way so it wouldn't be scraping all over the place. You can kind of see it through here. But looks real clean. I do want to start working on this truck some more, guys. Do everything that I have planned for it. I do want to get it show ready because it is going to be my show truck. A lot of you guys know that's the OG. That's the truck that started everything. So we're going to make it real nice. That is going to be it for this video, though. Don't forget, guys, we're doing a giveaway on this crew cab. Every $10 that you spend on my website gives you two entries for a chance to win. Link is always in the description. Also, guys, I did get some more progress on the Ram. I already have that video ready to upload. That is going to be till the next video. So y'all stay tuned for that. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. That is going to be it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.